All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dick, as always, and call me Touch Ninja. We're once again back playing some Red Dead Redemption in 4K on Xbox One X. Continuing on where we left off, we met Seth the Grave Robber <laughs> last episode. Did a little grave robbing, found a map, treasure map, ditched some bodies, shot some dudes, and we're just basically continuing on exactly where we left off. So let's go to the Golden Cross and see what we can find. Oh, it's like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? Oh, the old silent treatment. Oh, whoa. Hoo -hoo. That's quite a stand. Hey, Seth. Oh. Seth, come back here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? How you doing? I'm good. Well, uh, see you later, partner. Where you going, partner? Nowhere. <laughs> okay. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. Okay, I was just uh, fooling. <laughs> partner, uh, you know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house. Which one? It's a lot of them. Oh my god. Did you see these fellers? Dubious as they looked, I figured they must be with you. This can't be happening. I don't need my dead eyes to deal with these guys. I got auto dead eye. Bam! That's my purse. I don't know you. Come on, bitch. It's mine. I found it. This way. You start to regret this no, yet. No, Weird no. button. It's so strange in this game. I think it's snipe on watch this. Uh. Uh. Auto aim game too strong. Oh my, oh my. You'll never find it. Where are these fools at? Damn nation. The hell? What was that about? I swear I was right on the dot. Do I gotta account for bo bullet drop? Is this Just Fortnite we're playing? Partner. Oh, he's in the window. Stop her in the window! I, <laughs> I didn't get him. I didn't get him! All right, and we go. Could use some revolver ammo. Can I have this? Actually, I, I use a campfire. Oh. Never mind. You gotta go now. It's our last chance. It's locked. Let's try around the back. Guess he uses different ammunition. I would not. Good luck. Not turn my back on this guy. Jesus, what? Fuck! They got in there! Ah! Don't be sorry you woke up this morning! Word again! To the face, to the face. A little bit of a suspect shot, but I'll take it. I did all the work! Me! Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Maybe I should have bought a shotgun. Do something, mister! They're gonna take my treasure! I like them better dead! You can't kill us all, you fool! Oh, yeah? Watch it. 
Oh my god. Blow their damn brains out! No. Sunday, boy. Dude, what hug the, the wall. What are you doing? Oh shit. shit. Sneaky sons of bitches. Okay, fall down, please. Don't get up. You really want to die? Walking in here like a dude. At the end of this very long, long tunnel. <laughs> Seth's gonna be rich after all these years. <laughs> it's silk sheets and Parisian whores from now on, mister. <laughs> Dude, you could not pay me enough if I was a whore to sleep with you. Good lord. What the goddamn hell is this? A glass eye. I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much. <laughs> Those stupid liars. Those stupid chicken shit maps. Making a damn fool of me. A glass eye! <laughs> it's a glass eye! Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. And you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. Hunting dead man's treasure ain't done me no favors. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer when you gentlemen is ready. Hey, treasure hunter outfit. Loot the bodies. I need it more than you now. Surprised he didn't loot the bodies. <laughs> do, do. Alright, looks like we have some bounty missions, or we can go back to Bonnie at the ranch. Go, I think we'll go visit Miss Bonnie. Can I do a campfire in town? Ugh. How far are we? How far are we? Oh my god, so far. <laughs> Too far. Probably gonna have to sleep as well. It's nighttime. Whoa. Go out into the wilderness. Far enough. Come on. Should be good. We will now be able to pitch a tent. Not that tent. Bunch of pervs. McFarland Ranch. Here we go. Home sweet home. Hey, 
Hey, miss. I got most of the horses secure and the chickens. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Work. Don't shoot the herd. Make sure the lassos are out. Yo. Ropes out, boys! Oh, shit. Too fast. Too fast. There you go. That sky don't look good. Watch it in that mud. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a-calling. But nobody made my path for me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books. Others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. Past is who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no changing that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. I'm gonna save my voice for the herd. It's gonna be hard shouting over this storm. Yeah. Silence for once. Easy. When she asked me if I was a religious man, I got like chills of ultra carbon. Are you a believer? Whoa. Drive them over to the pasture by the old oak tree. We'll merge them with the other herd there. Ooh, you look delicious. Yeah. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Come on! Don't lose one. Whoa. There's usually one difficult horse. I got horse cat. Hey! On, hey, hey! Hey, And it's gonna be you. You're gonna be the difficult one. Whoa, yeah, get Come back on. in line. You. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! You. Go. Go. Shout. Betsy? Don't make me tie you up. Gosh. Shirori! There's food! We have to stop the stampede! Let's go! Do something! Down. Accident. I'll be getting this much. Let's go. Hey, no, 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 no. Slow down. Don't go off the edge. Oh my God. Stop. Hey, 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 hey. No! Yeah. No! Oh my god. You already got one. Awesome. Oh, I didn't lose all of them. Good work! I thought we'd lose them all. Let's round up the rest. Get those cows back in line. Go back. Don't make me shoot you. Go back. You! Straggler! Rejoin your brothers. I wonder what a fail is. 
<laughs> this guy's just chilling. Move! Yeah, I wonder what's the minimum to succeed. Come on, Betsy. They're all Betsy to me. You all look the same to me. I lost six of them. Six ain't bad. You. Nya, 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 nya. What are you doing? Come back here. Yes, yeah. Right here. This guy. This guy. This guy. Hey. Come on. No more lightning. Here, not moving. Hey, you. We're almost there. You don't have a, a dig with the dinner plate yet. Well, let's get a moo cow. That sweet milk. Imagine a train just flies no. by sometimes <laughs> with the cow catcher. Well, shit. <laughs> like, there goes all my work. Oh dear. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they found nothing. Well, come on, let's go look for him. I think he's in the barn. Let's head out. He couldn't have gotten far. Isn't he in the barn? Come on. About this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Big ol' sweetheart. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I can trust. <laughs> that's a good. Who's that over there? It's a good philosophy of life. Yeah. Back in the day, though, I personally love ties. That thing gets me going like Daddy, a nice full Windsor. What Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller Twins, that bunch. 
Now, you head back to the ranch right now and fetch the wagon. Yes, sir. Marson, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Gonna paint your wagon. Right. Gonna paint it. Fine. What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead, too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Those damn rustlers! I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talked about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize The outlaw it. with the code? How wonderfully romantic. The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal. There's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad into good. You're upset. Look, Mr. Marston, the barn is on fire. Gonna use all base paint, cause the wood is pine. This lady's like chewing me up, isn't she? Jesus. Rescue the horses. Whoa. Help me, will you? Mazagua! Put it the on. doors are blocked! We need to find another way in! We gotta get to the horse! This ain't we working! We have to find another way to get in there! Yeah, that's not gonna work. Get a move on! Los caballos! Oh my god, Vominos man! Vominos! Break. Dude, what the hell? Somebody get them horses out! Of I'm so confused right now. There you go. Jesus. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Do those chin ups, John. Oh, struggle. The struggle. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> that was such a huge rag. <laughs> Oh my god. Man, these horses are definitely dead by now. 100% teal. Come on! Go! God, you're so slow. Like the lasses. Okay, finally, an in. Someone locked him in there. He did it! Now get the horses out! <laughs> Slapping horses' asses! Yeah! That kinky stuff. All right, gotta be a hero now. Hero mode! Yeah, it wasn't as dramatic as I expected it. We didn't really jump over the burning heap of fire, but we got across it. It's all good. Yo. Sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, wh hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John, thank you. Well, did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. 
That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're gonna be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. Dang, her panties are a waterfall right now. She loves you. Howdy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's a pretty good episode. Got a lot done. Grave robbers, fires, rescuing cattle. So we'll call it that. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. In the next episode, we'll continue with the Marshall missions, and eventually it will lead us back Hello. to Fort Mercer. So. Till then, thank you guys for watching, like I said, and as always, have a nice day.